So I just saw Loose in theaters today. Go see it. I saw it last night at Angelica Film Center, just an early Thursday release movie. And it was amazing. I was, I was kind of stuck on how I felt about a lot of things. It's about this young guy who grew up as a child soldier and then he's adopted by this white couple in America and grows up to be this like star athlete. He's on the debate team, he's got all these friends, like he's just like that guy, right? But then he writes this one paper that really alarms his teacher that's kind of like saying how he agrees with mass killings as a sort of cleansing. For the majority of the movie, you're just trying to figure out what actually happened and who's actually at fault and is this guy innocent or not you know because you can't help but ignore what he grew up with so you're like is this really ingrained in him does he really believe in mass killings and all that or or is he actually a really good guy or on the other hand his teacher played by octavia spencer is just kind of like just kind of you're not really sure if she's just like an asshole or if she has legitimate cause to be concerned. So the entire movie, you're just kind of like, well, maybe she's right, maybe he's right, maybe she's right, you don't know. And oh my fucking God, um, Calvin Harris Jr., <sighs> wow. Like, great acting, amazing acting. And also this is like the second movie I've seen him in where he plays like a superstar athlete. So he like obviously is probably pretty athletic. So many themes in this movie. So many. Again, a lot of them being very racial. The biggest theme is really about how the token black kid is perceived and how that translates into society. And it's really fucking interesting. Um, because, you know, you've got this black kid being raised by a white family and he's kind of being put on a pedestal, whereas his black friends are not and he kind of can't understand why. I also really enjoyed how the movie touched on the pressure put on young kids right now. I mean, these kids, they do not have a life. Like, I mean, they kind of have a social life, but like these days, like getting into college is so important. Like you have, there's, there's a lot of articles and there's a lot of studies and there's a lot of discussion about it right now. And basically kids can't be kids anymore. And there's all this pressure to like be on all of the sports teams and to be a star athlete and to be involved in all of these extracurricular activities that uh, you kind of don't get a chance to figure yourself out because you're so busy doing all of these things, just trying to be what's been beaten in your head of being successful, being the, being the black kid that made it out. Like really, literally, that's kind of like the looming theme over the entire movie. Like you want to be the success story, like started from the bottom, now I'm here. But it's like the things that come with that are really conflicting, especially the fact that he has white parents that are not preparing him how to be black in America. I also think there were really interesting gender contrasts. Throughout the movie, you never see the father driving. There's a lot of moments that happen in the car. And throughout every scene, the mom is driving. And I think that's just so interesting because it just shows how she's driving the family, how she's driving the relationship within her marriage and within her family. And I thought that was really subtle, but also really, really interesting. I thought it was super, super interesting how liquor and wine were contrasted because throughout the movie, you see, you know, the Edgars, which are, you know, Luce and his parents. Um, every time they're discussing everything that's going on and they're trying to piece together what's happening, they're always drinking wine. And they're like, they're like, it's not just one sip, it's like they finish it, they're pouring back up. Like it's just kind of like an ongoing thing throughout the movie. Versus when they cut to Octavia Spencer, like she's alone, she's drinking straight liquor, probably like whiskey or bourbon or whatever the fuck she's drinking. And I think that was so interesting too because I think it shows so much character analysis um, about who they are that by drinking wine, they kind of just take it easy. They kind of just slowly try to get to an understanding because when you drink a wine, you kind of slowly get drunk, right? You're not just kind of taking it to the head. It's kind of, so them drinking wine throughout the movie, I think is symbolic of like, how they're slowly trying to reach an understanding, trying to slowly get to a moment of truth because wine and liquor is truth serum, right? So also 
when you go back to Octavia, and she's always drinking this hard liquor straight, no ice, not on the rocks, just straight. Her character is straight up. She doesn't really try to hide shit. And well, I think what is just really truly compelling is that when you finally get to the end of all of this, you realize that both characters are right and both characters are wrong. And you see, you can see and understand both perspectives and you have to sit and think, it's almost as if like you wanna choose which side is correct, but you can't. You just have to watch it because there is a reason why Octavia Spencer's character, Mrs. Wilson, acts the way she does. It takes a while for you to understand, but when you finally get there, you're just like, ah, I get it. I get it. Hey, this is a must see for me. If you're gonna go see it, Saturday would be a good day to go to, go to Angelica Film Center because at 8 p.m. on Saturday, they will have the director and Calvin Harris Jr. who plays Luce at the end of the movie to do a Q&A. So kind of bummed I found out about it afterwards, but it's okay, it's fine. It's still a really good film. You should go see it immediately.